Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Blackout Bill here with a special video. We're gonna try it again. Part two, not really. Oh, reboot. It's a reboot of the how to install a start button on your outboard 2.0. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're gonna do two versions of this video. The quick one and the extended version. The quick one's gonna end real quick for the whiners and the complainers. Oh, your last video is too confusing and you're too stupid and da, 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 da. There's not many of you, not many at all. The, the love that that video got is, is just, it warms my heart. But, but being the stickler that I am, being the stickler that I am, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it step by step, real quick, Real easy, so that everybody's happy. And then, those people can go, F -f 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 see you later, and we're gonna go in depth for the people that wanna enjoy the the humor and the, the, the everything that is blackout pill. I'm just kidding, anyway. So, we're gonna go through literally everything. We're gonna install the button, we're gonna hook up the solenoid, we're gonna get the starter going. It's gonna be a fun video. Okay, step one. Route your solenoid. Mount your solenoid. Okay, the next step in installing a start button switch. You drill the hole. Drill a hole. Can be here, can be here, can be here, whatever you like. Next step, install button. Push button through hole, wire, button, later. Step, whatever, install button. Push button through hole screw on adapter to mount the button once your button and your solenoid is installed run your battery positive cable to big stud one battery positive cable big stud one then to your other big stud, run a power cable, a second power cable, to the starter. Okay, so once we got our two leads, your next step is to ground the switch, ground the solenoid. One ground wire from one of the little posts to the ground. Pick any ground you like to the block. Ground the solenoid to the block. Next step. Hook button wire one to power stud big one, the one that goes to the battery. You got two connections for your button. One goes to the power side of the wire that goes to the battery. Last step, hook up power wire from button to the solenoid power. So we're grounding the solenoid to the motor. We have a main power source battery power to the solenoid. We have a power source from the solenoid to the starter. And then we have our switch solenoid grounded to the block and then a final ground wire coming from the block to the battery. That is how you wire these up completely. Thank you. So now that all of our wires are connected, press the button and it'll start. So you can see it's it's working, the, the button's working, but the starter won't engage. So we have successfully hooked up the button to start the motor. Problem is my battery either just doesn't have enough juice or the starter is just a little weak. But in any case, you press the button, power goes to the starter, and we're good to go. Uh, let's pull start and see how she runs. Okay, now that y'all have seen it hooked up together, here we are back with it unhooked the magic of TV and what we're left with here is a 
base motor. It has the starter already. So if you don't have a starter installed, you're gonna I, I, maybe I'll do another video on a motor that doesn't have a starter. But there's other videos out there. This one is for the motor that has the starter, and you want to install or wire your button. Now this motor has I've actually never seen this before. This has the button and it has the cables. So what most likely happened was this motor probably had a wiring harness and it was plugged in and then you would turn a key or something. So they probably wired it uh, through these cables so that it didn't it wasn't hot all the time. And these two wires hooked up to a battery starts the starter. In any case, here's the outboard. It's just got it's got nothing but a starter and a couple uh, and a, a main hot and a negative ground lead so first things first is you need a button and you need a solenoid okay I picked up this it's kind of OMC it's kind of aftermarket it's kind of cheapy and it's a four prong easy thing and find a place on the motor to mount it I found a one of the mounting screws for the vacuum pulse I put it there and then it just happened to line up with one of the holes in the mount for the block now these are not tapped so I ran a tap down this hole I will actually show you the tap I used but long story short find you don't even have to mount it uh, you can stick it anywhere I can you can even you know rest it somewhere or you know it's up to you where you mount it. you can even mount it outside the engine you don't have to put it in the block but it fits nicely in here the hood comes over it there's no clearance issues okay so we have a solenoid the next thing we're gonna do is take our button and we're gonna drill a hole into the cover wherever you want your button to be placed. I'll probably end up putting it right here because this is our kill switch. And he, it'd be a nice little start button here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Plus, it's, it's easily wired. All the wires are right here. Okay. So once your solenoid is hooked up, we'll drill our hole into the cowling for the button. And I will show you that. So I just drilled the hole wherever I wanted. And I made the button... The hole just big enough for the button to pass through, and then we added our our ring for the threads. Now the button's in place, you can put the wires through it now. Or you can leave the button out, put the wires through the hole, wire the button first, and then stick the wires through and mount it. might make it a little easier for you. Okay, so we installed our solenoid, and then we put in our button. Now, quick drill bits, about a half inch. So once, uh, yeah, get about a half inch drill bit, and that should make your hole kind of decent enough. And then you fit your switch through with your two leads here. Uh, and then you're just going to want to take your, your main battery positive, run it, and that's going to go to the solenoid directly. So you're going to run like a main, a main cable to one, and then your second cable will go to the starter. Uh, so you're going to need two positive cables, two, two solid, uh, solid core ones so that it can handle the heat and the, and the electric flow. And I'm obviously going into a lot of detail here. I'm letting you know where the wire came from, how to wire our house, because apparently haters don't like that. So that's why we got all that bull, bull poop out in the beginning. So, uh, yeah, so your battery power is going to run to your solenoid, number one, the one of the big studs. And then your other big stud is going to continue that power, big wire all the way up to the starter. So now, once those two main wires are installed, then we'll hook up some little ground leads and we will hook up our button. Start button install on a 33 or any outboard. If you want to hook up a starter button, this is how you do it. Now, I'm pretty sure the boring video is over, so this is going to be the actual video. Um, now that my shadow's all in the background. So, again, just to reiterate for the 15th time on the second video, for all of the haters and everybody else, you have a solenoid. We got main battery power, power to big switch. And then if you want to run the line out, just think of it this way. Power to one stud, go to the bigger stud, power the starter, to the starter. Then ground your, ground your solenoid, any ground. There's a ground here. One of the little posts ground to here. And then take your battery ground, hook it up to the block. So your battery ground's got to go to the block. Then... You ground the switch to any ground. You could pick the same one if you want. And then you power the button by one power lead goes to its own stud. So you got one power lead, one stud, all on its little own. And then your other wire is going to go on your button. Your other wire button is going to go to the power side of the solenoid. So wherever your battery connects, hook the power to the switch. And you're done. Uh, how to hook up a start button 
Switch on an outboard, take two, 2.0. Subscribe if you haven't. If you ha want to know more in depth, I'm happy to answer all your questions. If you don't like my video, feel free to make your own. Try to be positive. I love y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.